breaking news. Welcome to today's headlines. Protest over Prophet Muhammad comments turn deadly in India. Protest over Prophet Muhammad comments turn deadly in India. To my dear listeners from wherever you're listening from, please stay tuned as I read to this news. New Delhi. Two young demonstrators were killed on Friday in Indian's eastern, eastern Jakant state amid protests across South Asia of Muslims, angered by a comment from an official in Indian's governing party that they believe profaned the Prophet Muhammad. The protesters were shot during demonstrations that erupted after Friday prayers in Ranchi, Jakant's capital. Protesters there called for the arrest of Nukbo Sharma, a spokeswoman for Prime Minister Narendra Modi's party, who, lost, who last week made speculative comment on a television talk show about the relationship between the prophet and his youngest wife. That comment, along with another about, about the prophet, made by Navin Kumaru Jindal, also an official in the governing Bharatiya Janata Party, prompted outrage across the Muslim world forcing the government to try to contain the growing diplomatic fallout. Since taking office in 2014, Mr. Modi has often been accused of tearing anti-Muslim sentiment or remaining silent when Hindu nationalists attacked Muslims, but his government appeared to take swift action after 17 Muslim nations condemned the remarks and lodged official diplomatic protests. Iran and Saudi Arabia, which often cannot agree on anything, both summoned India's envoys in their capitals to complain. In response, the Bharatiya Janata Party often referred to as BJP, suspended Mrs. Sharma and expelled Mr. Jindal. The party issued a statement about how it reacts, how it respects all religious traditions and denounces insulting religious figures. Protests have sprung up in the past week across India. Pakistan and Bangladesh. In Ranchil on Friday, demonstrations began peacefully but turned violent, said Sayub Ansari, one of the demonstrators. It was a peaceful protest. Nothing was nothing was happening except slogan, sloganeering to arrest Nawaz Sharma. Mr. Ansari said of the thousands who took to the street after leaving mosque then the crowd was slowly turning out of control the police charged the crowd with batons mr sari said and protesters pelted stones in return then the sound of gunfire sent people fleeing he said two protesters were shot to death including Mudassir Alam, 15, who was shot in the head, according to his uncle, Muhammad Shahid Ayubi. According to Indian News report, dozens of other demonstrators were injured, as were some police officers. They were treated at a nearby hospital.
It seems the police have not trained to control crowd that he got shot in the head, Mr. Ayubi said. The other protester killed in Ranchi, Sahil Ansari, whose age was not immediately confirmed, was said to be on his way home when he was hit by a bullet, according to various news reports. About 3.30 miles away, in Praia Graj, a city in Uttar Pradesh, a state governed by one of BJP's most vociferous Hindu nationalists, the police fired tear gas and charged protesters with batons after motorists and carts were set on fire and rocks were thrown. At least 10 police officers were injured said Prem Prakash, the additional Director General of Police in, in Priyagri. In Islamabad, the capital of Pakistan, on Friday, thousands of protesters briefly scored food with the police as they tried to reach the Indian Embassy. A notable exception to the nations condemning the BJP officials' comment has been Bangladesh, whose leader, Sheikh Azina, enjoys close political ties with Mr. Modi. Nevertheless, tens of thousands of people took to the streets in its capital, Dhaka, and other parts of Bangladesh, demanding that the Asina government join in the condemnations. This regime believes that they are dependent on India to retain the power, said Asif Nazru, a law professor at the University of Dhaka and a political commentator, so they are not willing to do anything that makes India angry or displeased. To my dear listeners, now we've come to the end of our today's news.